Hello everyone, my name is Sora, welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we'll be taking a look at Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is a dungeon crawler action RPG game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. As there's the number 3 behind Diablo, this is their third installment for the Diablo game. And I am actually super excited to check this game out because my very first game that I really got into was Diablo 2. Uh, but oddly enough, I actually never got to try Diablo 3, but without further ado, let's jump in and see what this game is all about. So I remember some of the stuff from Diablo 2 because Diablo 2 was like my very very first game that I got to play, but uh, it's a little bit different. Diablo 3 is already different. As soon as we log in, there's a bit of a cinematics cut, and then there is create a class right away. First of all, I love how there's a male and a female option. That is a big big plus for me already because you don't have that option for Diablo uh, Diablo 2. Um, so it seems like there's a barbarian, crusader, demon hunter, monk, necromancer, witch doctor, and wizard. I see some... so there's barbarian. Um, so they carried that over from Diablo 2. I don't see the other classes. Oh necromancer! I see necromancer. So for me I was actually just going to do a starter trial thing for my first impressions video, but it seems like uh, some of the classes I actually needed to buy the game. And right now the game's 50% uh, off, so it was great. Uh, so we have the Crusader. I'm guessing this is like the Diablo 3 version of the Paladin. It looks somewhat cool. You have that shield, you have the hammer. I might go with that. I might just go with the Barbarian. Something that I'm kind of familiar with. Or I might go with a wizard or a witch doctor or a demon hunter. I don't know what you want to go with. For me, I am I always played Amazon and, and, and a paladin for Diablo 2. But it seems like... You know what? Let's go with a barbarian because it is the most... Yeah. Sora Online. And obviously there is no character customization. Okay, so new class available necromancer. Okay. We actually have to... Purchase the Rise of the Necromancer pack for twelve sixty nine Canadian. So I'm guessing that's like around nine something in US dollars. So we can actually start from expert, but I don't think that's a good idea. Let's start with normal. All right, Sora Online Barbarian. Let's start the game. I just needed to change some of the key bindings. Seems like there's going to be a quick cinematics cut. To introduce us to the game. So yeah, so I changed my key bindings from 1, 2, 3, 4 to Q, W, E, R. It just felt more like more natural this way. Wow. This feels so nostalgic. Seems like there's some action going up ahead. Yo, there's voice acting. That's awesome. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. And then all these little things just kind of pop up to introduce you to the UI layout, I guess. We are doing so much damage! Level 2, look at that. We have to talk to Leia. Oh, yeah, I, okay, I remember now. This is how we level up our skills. Okay, so we have Bash and Secondary Hammer of the Ancients. And I'm guessing it raises the stats for you? Hmm, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how the stat system works. I thought it might be similar to Diablo 2 where you get 5 points to just kind of distribute yourself. But I don't think that's the case. We have a merchant here. It's blinking here, so I'm, I think that's where we have to go. There's no loading screen, I like that. Wow, Leia is Decker Kane's freaking nephew! Or not nephew, niece, niece. Yeah, that's the right word. Oh, that's awesome. So as you guys know, obviously Diablo, not Diablo, sorry. Uh, World of Warcraft is a new new game that I'm going to be playing for a long time. And I think I'm just becoming a bit of a Blizzard fanboy. I mean, I started my gaming with Blizzard and now I'm continuing on with Blizzard. Oh my gosh, that new ability though. Oh, and this kind of helps you with the lore. It's like an audio version. That's cool. Oh, so for barbarians, we have something called a fury. We do our regular attack, 
and the fury goes up and we can use our skills like that oh you don't actually have to click on the gold it just kind of loots for you i like that but the items i guess you actually have to click on oh my gosh the skills are awesome the combat is so impactful. I love it when the when the combat is very impactful. Look how strong we are. We are so powerful. Oh my gosh, this skill is so awesome. We got a new skill called Cleave. It's, a, it's an active skill. I will take any active skills. Oh, so we... Oh, so that's how the skills work. So under primary, you get these four skills. I see. And then under secondary, you get these five skills. Whirlwind. Oh, I can't wait to hit level 20. Whirlwind is going to be awesome. And then you have defensive, might, tactics, rage, and so on and so forth. And then you get passive skills every, every, well, I was gonna say 10 levels, but I guess at level 10, level 20, 30, and then level 7. Man, this feels like Diablo. This is Diablo, where you're not sure where to go. You're just trying to complete the entire map of the area you're in. Old Tristram. Old Tristram. Once walked this, place. this, I believe, if I remember correctly, was where we found Deckard Cain. In Diablo 2. That thing's throbbing. So I'm guessing that uh, is the Wretched Queen. Yeah. Come here, you Wretched Queen. This feels a little bit too easy. Man, I remember in Diablo 2, it was so hard. You had to get, like, items. And you had to, like, fill up on potions and stuff. But this is just easy. Griswold's fine weapon. Again, I think in Diablo 2, Griswold was a set for Paladin. It was like a Paladin's set. Okay, so now we have to go find Deckard Kane again. Come on, Deckard. My man. Is she gonna follow me? Oh, she's gonna follow me. Okay. So, Leia's mother must have done something pretty secretive, pretty sketchy. What the heck is that? Captain Dalton? Former captain of the guard. What happened to you? Okay, it seems like Leia's mom helped someone. <laughs> someone evil. Oh my gosh. These these undeads. Oh, level again. We are actually leveling so quickly. I need fury. So it seems like we got some stuff, um, some rewards for buying uh, the battle chest. So I got Mercy's Gaze. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's like Mercy's Wings. And then we got a pet here, Dominion's Revenge. Wow. Uh, and then we have this portrait thing, uh, portrait frame. I changed it to the over Overwatch style. And Penance. We have this like a uh, thing you wear on your back that's cool oh my gosh they actually show up that's awesome oh what is this treasure goblin oh wow they're, they're just dropping gold Oh, you get a whole bunch of stuff when you kill them. Where's the second one? Oh, the second one ran away. Follow me. We have to help him kill his wife because she has been bitten by the undead. Oh my goodness. So basically, I have to go out and dig up some grave. Perfect. And while we're at it, we have to find his apprentice. I kind of get the feeling this apprentice has been bitten or something, or he's dead or something. It's going to be a tragic story once again. But we just helped a man kill his wife. Oh, I feel so bad. What is this? 
Legendary Helm. And we, we don't need a scroll to identify. That's nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'll take it. Legends of the Brawl. Reward. More rewards? Oh, goblins! Time to test my skill. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. They're like throwing me around. Oh man! Man, because of these guys, I lost the goblins! So something that I'm wondering right now is... Back in Diablo 2 days, we had something called a cow level. Where we would like... Open this portal, the secret portal, and then we would go into this different realm with all these cows in it. Like, literally cows. Um... I wonder if we have that in this game as well. It just kind of makes me wonder what this pet actually does. It's kind of like following me around, but I'm not, not quite sure what it does. Let's see if it... Oh, crap. I wanted to see if it uh, like attacks them. Let's see. Oh, the pet is the one picking up the loot. Or, or the gold. Oh. Okay, so it, it does have some kind of a functionality. I like that. You know what? I kind of want to see if we can jump over this little creek here. Yes, we can. Oh, that's sick. New event. So I have to return this lady's bones. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I have to return this, this lady's bones to her husband. Husband's side, I guess. Very romantic. Oh my goodness. Phantom of Anguish. Don't worry, my man. I will return your wife's bones to your side. Ooh, so we have a couple of choices for our passive skill. We have Ruthless. You deal 40% additional damage to enemies below 30%. Or, when you're healed by a health globe, gain 2% life regeneration per second and 4% increased movement speed for 15 seconds. This bonus stacks up to 5 times. Let's go with Ruthless. I've been playing this game for an hour now. It doesn't feel like I've been playing for an hour. That's always good in any game, when you lose track of time. New Crafter, Blacksmith. Nice, you have gained access to the Blacksmith Artisan. The Blacksmith can forge new armor and weapons. He can also salvage unwanted items. Oh my gosh, this guy's skills. They're massive. The Molten Fireball. Kind of reminds me of the skill Volcano by Druid from, from Diablo 2. It's the Skeleton King! Oh, what is happening? Oh my gosh. And the Skeleton King is such a big pussy. Come on, man. Instead of sending in your little minions, you should come and fight me yourself. Such a big chicken. Place Leoric's crown on the Skeleton King. There we go. Oh my gosh. That thing's coming alive. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna fight? Mad King of Tristram. Is he a Targaryen? Man, this guy has a lot of health. This is definitely going to take a while. It 
Ey. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so that lady right there that's floating took the sword. Now we have to go kill her and take the sword back. Oh, it seems like Leia has like some kind of a power that she can't control. Don't tell me she's like a minion of Diablo. Or like... Or like her, her mom made it with like a minion of Diablo and she was born. That would be truly tragic. Oh my gosh. I'm already invested in the story. <laughs> Look at my Mercy's, Mercy's wings. So nice. To be honest, I don't know what the condition is to make it come out like that. It just kind of comes and goes by itself. We have to kill someone named Urzil Mordred. Oh, oh my gosh, this name. Ah, so it's you. It's not here. While you were on your hero's errand here. I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. Oh no. She took the sword pieces and my friends. Oh my gosh. Your rage is overwhelming, girl. Wow. You can't die. They are so strong. Nothing can stop that now. <gasps> but there is one last thing I must do. Is Decker Kane dying? Oh my gosh, Decker's dead! No! Why? Oh my gosh. If only I, could... I think I'll leave it off there. So here's my thoughts on Diablo 3. First of all, the game is so, so good. I, it instantly hooked me. I love it when games do that. From the moment you log in and then you create your character and you jump in, all of these things that happen just kind of drags you in. And it was good enough for me to lose track of time, so that was always nice. I got some free stuff, like Mercy's Wings, and I think that looks really, really cool on my Barbarian. To be honest with you, it wasn't as rugged as Diablo 2. It was more... If, if Diablo 2 is like a diamond that is very rough, Diablo 3 was like a diamond that was very smooth. To be honest with you, I kind of enjoyed Diablo 2's ruggedness a little bit more than the smoothness of Diablo 3, but that's just my personal thought. I love the skills and the animations and the combat of this game and everything just worked out really really nice. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, a big thumbs up would be very appreciated and let me know your thoughts on Diablo 3 in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one really really soon.